Hey everybody, welcome back to the 80 Slashers YouTube channel. In this video, um, I am going to uh, discuss and review um, this latest um, Friday the 13th release that was put out on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. Um, so yeah, if you if you haven't seen it earlier, I posted a you know an unboxing video and I, I talked about this release a little bit um, in that video. So um, you know if you want to go back and check that out about just just my history of this on Blu-ray. Um, this is my third pickup here. I'll show you. I have um, this is my first one I bought, and then this was my most recent purchase here of this film. So. Uh, this is my latest. Now, as you can see, I don't have the Screen Factory release. So, I know a lot of people who are watching this are probably wondering whether or not they should, if they bought the Screen Factory release, should they buy this? Is it an upgrade? That's, you know, that's the, the big question, you know, you, you, on, on the internet and whatnot. Um, if you have one of these, um, I think it's probably an easier answer is yeah like why not these are you know 30 bucks for this set this was like 10 bucks back in the day um why not pick this up um just to have the option um but we'll get into the specific quality of this now um if you've been following this release um i have been um if you go online read some internet reviews watch youtube videos this is kind of slowly becoming a I, I want to say a controversial release. Um, there's people on both sides of the fence. I've I've read and watched many reviews on this release, um, and it, it's from people. Some of them are from very reputable online sources, like big big internet, um, you know, websites and you know YouTubers and whatnot. Uh, and yeah, some people c came out and said that this was amazing. They loved it. It's the best it's ever looked, 100%. And then I've watched some other videos, and people are saying that Paramount should be ashamed of themselves, and they should give us their money back, that this release is broken. Um, there's so many problems with it. It's a terrible release. So it's <laughs> it's both sides of the fence, which is, which is crazy. Um yeah, I don't know. I'm um, so I'm gonna talk about my thoughts on this. Um, I just to get out of the way, everyone knows I I love this film. This is my favorite '80s slasher of all time, uh, and I was excited to have this because, like I said, I I didn't I don't have the Screen Factory release. Uh, when it when that when the Screen Factory box set got announced, like I mentioned this in the earlier video, but I saw that the first four films had gotten a new 4K scan. And as soon as I saw that, I, I knew that they were going to get a 4K release. So I, I passed on the Screen Factory set. Um, I, I, I just, I had all the films at almost anyway, except for Jason Goes to Hell. And um, I, I just, I don't like the big box sets, I'll be honest. like that, it, It's nice, it's nice artwork, but that, that's a huge box set. And it just looks weird on my, on my on my movie shelf i just i don't know i'm weird like that i like all my my films to be boom, 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 single release so I, I would much prefer to have single releases in 4k than that um and i know you could you could buy this set and they come in single package and i could have tossed this, the, the big box but that's you don't do that you don't pay 200 dollars or whatever it was and toss the big case so i, I just it just wasn't for me and i was patient and i wanted to wait for these so here's the first one and you know you, you know parts two three and four at least are going to get one of these 4k releases um hopefully five six seven eight um yeah okay so let's start off here um okay i won't even bury the lead i i i, I like this release i i think this is fantastic i'm really happy with this release um is it perfect? No, it's not perfect, but, you know, not many releases are, really. Um, we, we'll get into it, but overall, I'm happy with this. This is my new go-to definitive um, format, you know. This is this is what I, I have been watching before, and this one is um, obsolete. Part one on this is obsolete, as well as, I think these, these are probably the same. Um, but yeah, I won't be watching those again. Like I said, I don't. Maybe the Screen Factory is better than this. I don't know. This is this review is going to be based not on that at all. Um. All right. So let's get into it. The let's start with with, with the positives. Um. That basically everybody 
kind of consensus agrees uh, with for this film, this release. Um, the the resolution, the, the, the this this is this is a big uptick in terms of resolution and just detail, um, especially when you get to like earlier in the film, like some of the daytime scenes. Uh, it's, uh, it, it looks great. Like, it's never looked so good. Some of the, like, not every shot, because, like, this, this is an older film, and some, and some of it just, it's just some soft shots, you know, just the filmmaking, you know, they just captured some soft images. Um, but, but the, you know, the, the scenes that they nailed, um, they, they just look so good, some of these daytime scenes. The, the first one, as I was watching this, the first scene that really popped out at me was early in the film when Annie, um, the character Annie uh, first arrives in town, and you know she, there's a scene when she walks up to a gas station, and you know there's like a dog waiting there, and she goes up and pets the dog, and she's between like a like a red and green gas gas pumps, and man that scene I just that that was the first instance in this film where I was just like, whoa look at the colors like the the, the gas pumps the color detail just just popped so well it was so crispy like <laughs> it just it just looks so good like you could see like the rusting and like the like the pitting on the metal of the gas pumps it just it looked phenomenal and seeing the, there's a whole bunch of scenes like that throughout this film like i said the the resolution at times is just is the best it's ever been um like i said i i can't imagine the screen factory release um had that um i'm sure it looked good i'm sure it looked better than those other two um, but, you know, I think it's, people genuinely agree with this release that, you know, the resolution is, is fantastic. Um, e even some of the nighttime scenes, there's a scene, the character Brenda, um, after she's done playing the strip Monopoly, when she, when she leaves, um, and she goes, and she goes to the bathroom to brush her teeth and whatnot, um, right before she gets killed. Um, you know, she's in the bathroom there, and she has, like, her green rain slicker, rain jacket on. And she's coming out of the rain, and she as she as she's brushing her teeth. You can just see like the the individual drops of water on her rain jacket, poncho, whatever it's called. And it just like it's a darker scene, but it's um man the detail and the resolution it's just it's fantastic. And like I said, it happens all the time. You know, it's more prevalent in some of the like the well lit shots. Um, you know, in close ups like if it's close up on someone's face or whatnot. A few close ups on Mrs. Voorhees' face. Um. It just yeah, it, it's great. the 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 res the resolution is is fantastic. It's never looked so good. So, uh, for that reason alone, I just I absolutely love it. Now, since we're talking about the daytime scenes, I'll talk about um, one of the first issues. And there's one in particular. There, there's one moment in this release um, that is bad. Um, again, when Annie's coming to town after she gets. Um, dropped off by the trucker, he drops her off by the the cemetery, and she's walking from the cemetery, and behind her, above the in the sky in the cemetery, it's like really white. You know, it's a white day, like the and the clouds or like the sky is like messed up. It's like blue and it's like it, there's like movement. It's really weird. It's like completely blown out. Um, it's, yeah, so I, I, this is probably one of the things where, you know, the people online that are like, I want my money back, what a, what a terrible release. This is probably one of the scenes they're talking about. Um, yeah, it's it's blown out and it's really weird, the sky. And like I said, it's it's like, it's almost like blue and it's like, it's like alive. Like the sky is like, it's like digital noise. It's all moving. It's really weird. And I was like, wow, look at that. That's, that's a mistake. Whoever was color grading this obviously didn't catch it um but honestly that's the only time that i saw something really weird like that and it's for about maybe two seconds so i don't care um i, I really don't care people are like so angry they need a perfect film who cares it's anyway whatever it's it's me it, that's just I, I don't care but yeah that that is there um and i'm sure a few of the other you know bright white scenes um you know, a lot of people complain that some of the whites are blown out. I, I didn't really notice that much. Yeah, maybe it's, like, really a little more blown out than previous releases. I don't know. Like I said, the, the Cemetery one was the only one that was that was really stood out to me. 
Um, yeah, so, yeah, that's, you know, that, that's the big issue for me. Now, let's get into, like, the, you know, the, the, the elephant in the room here that everyone's talking about is the, the darkness with this film. Every review you look at, it's people are talking about the darkness, how dark this film is, and this release in particular. And I, um, it is. It, this is, um, this release, it's for whatever reason, it's, you know, the 4K format, by by nature, it, it's, it's always darker for whatever reason. I don't know the, the technical reasons for it. But usually it's just, it's just, these films are just usually a little darker. Um, after I watch this, I put, I put my version of this in, just to compare a few scenes, a few scenes that stood out to me in this, just to check and compare. And, um, yeah, this, this film is a lot lighter, a lot of the scenes. Now, the, the way from the beginning, the, the opening scene of this film, when, when, you know, um, back in the, the 1958, when we see, you know, the Barry and Claudette, the, the counselors who, who first get killed in the film. Um, just before they get killed, there is the scene where we see, like, the POV from Mrs. Voorhees, I presume. Um, her, her POV. And she's walking through one of the, the children's cabins, and they're all, like, sleeping in their beds. Uh, in this In this version of that scene... Uh, that's one of the ones I watched. Um, it was like you could see so much detail. There's a, a little kid hugging like a like a teddy or like it's like a red pillow or something, whatever it is. And like it, it stands out. It's really you can see all the details. You can see the the pillow. You can see the red on the pillow. You can see the girl's color of her hair. All the kids sleeping. Um, and in this version, it's like really dark. It's like you can't you you can see that the kid is holding something in her arm, but you can't really make it that it's a bright red. Um, it, it's a big contrast with that release, and I'll be honest. At first, I, I was like, "This is different." Like it was like watching this was like a different experience, kind of. Um, and I kind of liked it. Um, you know, that scene that I just talked about, it, it felt more realistic. It kind of brought up more of the the horror, the tension element, because you know she's walking through a cabin. And it, it's dark. It, it's like she's walking through at nighttime. In that release, it's almost like she turned the light on. Like when you watch them back to back, it's like, it's like the lights are on. All these kids are sleeping, but it's so bright. It's like it's like it's like almost daytime, or she like she like she turned the overhead lights on. That's how bright that one is. And that's what we're used to. That's the normal one. That's what we've always. That's what we're accustomed to. But with this release, it's so dark that it's it feels more natural to me. Um, yeah, like we're we're not used to it. Like we're losing the the, I guess the 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 detail, um, because the colors and everything is not as visible. So, you know, I can see why people are angry because you're so used to watching that version that, it's like, well, I can't see that you know the the red pink pillow anymore. It's not as it's not as clear, but it, it it's more accurate in this, and it it lends to this film, because this is a dark film, you know, it's an ominous tone, almost the entire film, and the darkness kind of works, I don't know if it's intentional, or if it's just a byproduct of the 4K format, I I don't know, um, but that's how I basically view the, the darkness throughout this whole film, um, most of the scenes, um, are uh, just a shade darker, even like the daytime scenes, like when Annie's goes to, like, the little canteen at the beginning, asking for directions to Camp Crystal Lake. Um, it's the middle of the day, sunlight's out. It's a darker scene than there. It's not like dark, it's not like it's, like, you can't see anything. It's just, it's almost like, if you know anything about photography, um, it's almost like it's, like, underexposed by, like, half a stop of light, maybe, something like that. It's just, it's just a tone darker, the whole thing. But, for me, it works, um, especially once we get to the nighttime scenes. Um, the blacks really come out in this because, it, like I said, it, it is darker, but you can see the details. It, it just—I think it looks beautiful. Um, some of these scenes, um, like th- th- these areas that are supposed to be black, are black, and then you see what you're supposed to see. Um, in that one, like it, it's like I said, we're so used to it; it's fine, but like it—it it doesn't. <laughs> It doesn't feel like it's pitch black, like, and I think that that's the, the feel of this film, like, it's, it's dark, like, when, when the killings start at nighttime, 
you know, it's, um, you're not supposed to see much. It really adds to, like I said, like the, like the atmosphere and the tension. So I, I like it. Um, I don't know. People are really angry about like, you know, the darkness. It works for me. And I, I, I get, like I said, I get that people, I, I understand why people are up in arms because it, 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 this is a different experience. I watched this and I was like, it's almost like it's a new film. It really is because it, it, it's a different experience. Like it, it has a different, um, it's like a, a different coat of paint on the whole film. Um, and I, for me, for the most part, it, it elevated it. Um, there, there was a couple times where it was, um, a little darker than I was, than I, than I guess I would like. Cause I, I yeah, I would like to see more stuff, but again, it, it kind of added to the the tone for me. Um, I don't know. So that that's my thoughts on it. Like, I, like I don't really have much to say. I'm not like a technical Blu-ray techie. People get out to all these like um, you know the the technical jargon and whatnot. But um, I like this release. I'm I'm happy with this. I I hope parts two, three, and four. You know, I, I, if they do the exact same process, I'll be happy. I'll buy. I'm going to buy them. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. Like, it's, it's really too bad because, like I said, I watched a couple of videos. And some people who have criticized, criticized this release, it, some of them have legit. Like, they say they don't like it and here's the reason why. And it's fair. Like, if that's, if, if this isn't the, you know, the coat of paint that you like for this film, that fair enough you know like we've been watching that other film for you know 30 40 years and this feels different this is a different tone um and if you can't get behind it i, I understand it but I, i've watched some videos there's one guy i watch on youtube and he's like um he's he's the guy who's like it's broken big problem paramount has a big problem in their hand and he said at the beginning he's like i didn't watch the film i just skimmed a like, I, I, I picked and choose a few different scenes. Like, the dude didn't even watch the film. Um, and yeah, you can pick the scenes of, oh, it's dark, I don't like it, it's broken. But, yeah, you have to watch the film. You have to go through the whole thing and experience it. And I think once you're in, like, the mood of the, like, like the, the different color palette, it works really good. Um, I don't know, like, the, like, the, like, yeah, there's some darkness, but, like, when you get, like, the kills, the blood is darker. The blood looks more realistic. Like, the colors are, are amazing in this. Like, all, like, the yellow and the green rain slickers. Like, the lights cutting through, like, the rain. Like, you can see, like, the detail in the rain. Like, this, this, I don't know, man. I, people who are, are trash in this, I just don't get it because, yeah, there's the darkness factor. But everything else, like, the resolution, the detail, it just looks so good. Um... I don't know, like, I, I, I like this, so I, I don't know what else to say, um, the sound, people are bummed, because it's not like Dolby Atmos, I don't, I don't really care about the sound, to be honest, but yeah, if you're, um, you know, if you're hoping for, like, the Dolby Vision and the Dolby Atmos, um, I guess you're, you're, uh, you, you didn't get much of an upgrade, um, in the audio, it still it sounds amazing, still, so for me, it's fine, um, special features, there's nothing like groundbreaking and new compared to the Screen Factory set, so um, I'm just basically talking about the the video quality on here, and for me, it's a significant upgrade, and like I said, it's just a, a different experience, um, and I, I liked it, I liked the feel of it, it, it made it more ominous, and uh, I don't know, it, it just, it, it, it's, it's fun to visit a film, revisit a film that, that I've seen countless times over the years and I watched this and it, it felt like in some ways like like a first time watch like it wasn't the same old film that I've I've always seen it it this release added something and for me that excited me because it's it's something new um I don't know if that makes sense but anyway I'm rambling for sure so th I'll wrap this up but yeah overall I'm happy with this this release um you know it's not perfect, like, there, there's a few issues for sure, but uh, nothing that I'm going to complain about or write a letter to Paramount demanding my money back, which is ridiculous. Um, I'm happy. I can't wait for parts 2 through 8 to get their 4K release, because 
I will buy them. I won't be pre-ordering them from Amazon. <laughs> I told that story in the previous video. Um, I will probably pick this up day one on the shelf at my local Best Buy or Walmart. All right. That's it. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed that. If you have any thoughts, um, agree, disagree, let me know. I, I'm, I'm interested because like I said, it is controversial. And I get if people have legitimate arguments of why they don't like it and they actually watch the release. Um, cool, man. It, it's I, I get how it's not for everybody. But uh, it's a different experience and I, I like that about it. So that's it. All right. Until next time. See ya.